Okay, let's see the accuracy of this one. The first question is contribution per unit. How to calculate the contribution? You can use this part or this part, but here to calculate the contribution per unit. Per unit details are available only sales and variable cost because the Per unit fixed cost is not given here. Therefore, you can't use this part. This is the part you have to use. Selling price per unit is 80. That minus variable cost per unit is 30. 80 minus 30, what is this? Contribution per unit. That is the answer. That is 50. This is the answer for the first question. Question number 2. Total contribution if the business sells 20,000 units. What is the easiest way to calculate? Contribution per unit 50 that into sales quantity. 50 into 20,000. Answer is 1 million. Is it clear? You might have calculated this using another approach using this part. Fixed cost plus profit, but that is harder. <coughs> right? No need to calculate using that part, but that also correct. You can take the fixed cost as 150,000. Then you have to calculate the profit and take it here. That should be 850,000. If you calculated the profit, this will be 850,000. Anyway, the total is how much? 1 million. This is the answer for that question. So, I am going to move forward. <coughs> now, you know what is contribution, right? Then, let's see this. I will take another example to explain. Say, Selling price per unit rupees 25. <coughs> then variable cost per unit is rupees 15. This business sells the quantity 1000 units. Take this example. Then, if I ask you to calculate contribution per unit, how to calculate? Selling price is 25. Variable cost per unit is 15. This minus this. What is the contribution? That is 10. This is per unit, right? This is per unit. This part. Now, if I am going to calculate this for the thousand units. How to calculate them? If I show you, this is when you sell thousand units, activity level, activity level of thousand. That means when this business produces or the manufactures thousand units, I am going to show this. Sales. You sell one unit and rupees twenty five. Then if you sell 1000 units, what should be your sales? 1000 into 25, that is 25,000. How take the variable cost? To manufacture 1 unit, the variable cost will be 50. To manufacture 1000 units, the variable cost will be 15,000. 25,000 minus 15,000, what is that? What is that? Contribution right? That is 10,000. In my example, I forgot to put another information that is 
fixed cost. I'm sorry for that. Just assume fixed cost of the business five thousand. I want to rectify that mistake again. I did not give you the fixed cost, right? Take the fixed cost as five thousand. Then here in this calculation, your sales twenty five thousand, variable cost fifteen thousand, contribution ten thousand. That minus fixed cost that is five thousand. What is this? This should be the profit. Is it clear? Sales minus variable cost is what? Contribution. Contribution minus fixed cost is what? Profit. If I explain this in another aspect, this is sales. Variable cost and fixed cost. That is the total cost, right? Your sales will be five thousand. Your variable cost is fifteen thousand and fixed cost is five thousand. All together twenty thousand. Twenty five thousand minus twenty thousand. Your answer is how much? That is rupees five thousand. Is it clear for you? Here there is another thing which is important for you. That part is this is the profit, right? This is the sales. If I am going to develop. A formula. Like this. That is, if I take the profit here, that is divided by sales. Profit divided by sales into hundred. Have you ever seen this formula? I have presented the profit as a percentage of sales. This is nothing but what net profit ratio. You remember? Is it clear? I have presented the profit as a percentage of sales. If I calculate the net profit ratio for this example, that should be profit is five thousand. Sales twenty five thousand. That into hundred. The answer is twenty percent. How do you interpret this? If your if your selling price is one hundred, what is the profit? That is twenty. That is the best way to present them. When you are selling. A product at rupees hundred that includes a profit of twenty. Or oh, another way, if the selling price is one rupee, what is the profit there? Twenty six. Clear. So this is the net profit ratio. But this is not the most important thing I want to teach. I'm going to ask if I develop a formula like this. Here, sales minus variable cost is contribution. That minus fixed cost is profit. Without going this much, I take contribution. That is divided by sales into hundred. This is similar to this one. Not similar. The same pattern. If you present the profit as percentage on sales, that is net profit ratio. If you present the contribution as a percentage on sales, what is that? This is a nice one in management accounting in CBP analysis. This is called as contribution to sales ratio. Contribution to sales ratio. Summarized term is CS ratio. So how to calculate the CS ratio? Contribution divided by sales into hundred. I ask you to write these important things. Right? Don't just watch a video. You have to take a book and all the important things. You have to just note down. Then you have a note. Again, you have to see the note again. You have to refer the videos. That will be the best way to learn this. Because anyway, I am not with you at class. 
So, if you are in the class, you can ask the questions. But here, you can repeat my videos. So, you have a certain advantage uh, even referring the videos also. Okay, clear. CS ratio is contribution divided by sales into 100. <coughs> if I ask you to calculate the CS ratio here in this example, how to calculate? This is the way of calculation. In my example, the sales, uh, the contribution is 10,000. This divided by sales 25,000 into 100. What is the answer? That is, is it 40%? This is 40%. If I again explain this, what this ratio says? If your selling price is rupees hundred, that includes the profit of rupees forty. Otherwise, if your selling price is one rupee, that includes a contribution of not the profit, the contribution of forty. That is the meaning. In this case. To calculate the CS ratio, I have used the total things, total sales and the total contribution. Not only using the total information. If you want, you can use the, uh, use the unit prices also. Without using the full contribution, the total contribution, if you want, you can take the unit contribution. Selling price 25, variable cost 15. You know, the contribution equals to sales minus variable cost. You know the relationship 25 minus 15 that is 10 so the contribution is 10 selling price is anyway 25 that is 100 this also CS ratio the answer is what as I told answer is similar to this one 40 percent is it clear for you so the summary of the lesson up to now I want to teach you when you are given these type of information unit selling price, unit variable cost, and the quantity sale. Using these, you can calculate the full details total sales, total variable cost, total contribution, and the total profit. And I want to teach, I want to teach what is CS ratio. This is how you obtain the CS ratio. You have to write it. Write the formula in a book and you have to highlight this. This is very important. Highlight. Then I discuss to calculate the CS ratio. There are two approaches. If you want, you can use the total information, or otherwise, you can use the unit information. Then do these uh, questions. I'll give you two sums. You have to do uh, these two sums and upload your answers. Only if you do these sums, I'll up upload the next video. <coughs> Question 1. In a business, there are, uh, there are selling prices rupees 50, variable cost per unit 20, there are total fixed cost. There are total fixed cost. These two units per unit are selling price per unit, variable, variable cost per unit. Fixed cost, the total fixed cost of the business, say 20,000, and the quantity they sell 1,000. Required. Question number one. Contribution per unit. Question number two. Total contribution. Question number three. CS ratio. Do this question first. Question number two. 
There's a business. Their selling price per unit is rupees four hundred. All these like this information rupees are huh? rupees four hundred. Their CS ratio is their CS ratio is thirty percent. Expected units the quantity two thousand units. Then the fixed cost of the business, the total fixed cost is say two hundred thousand. Information you are required. Question number one. Question number one. Variable cost per unit. Question number two. Contribution per unit. Question number three. Question number four: Expected profit. When they sell these two thousand units, okay, they have to. Think and write answers for these two questions, and you have to upload your answers. I ask you to upload the answers because uh, I want to ensure that you all are doing this, right?